Hey guys, it's Joseph here, and uh, I'm making this video to show you how to be decent in Modern Warfare. Go ahead and observe the class while I'm talking. But I had a friend to tell me, like, I, I average about three to five kills every game. I'm so good. I'm like, <laughs> stop. We're going to show you how to be decent here, or I'm going to show you. Um, I pick mostly starter stuff. The main thing I'm worried, uh, I'm really focused on is the uh, primary weapon. Not worry about the death streak because we won't get any. Um, basically, I mean, if you're trying to be a pro, this is the wrong play. This is the absolute wrong video. Click out right now. Like it and then click out because we're just learning how to be average, okay? Uh, I don't know what happens here. Look at this. Watch this. What? Like, why? Okay, black screen. And now we're here. I don't know. And also, the audio sounds really low to me, so sorry if it is, if it isn't. We're good. Anyway, anyway, uh, make sure if you want to be really decent, make sure you go ahead and vote for the thing that most people aren't voting for. So you see how that has two votes and Fallen has one vote? Go ahead and vote for uh, Fallen once. Like that. There you go. Now you tied it up and now you're a D bag. Uh, once you are actually decent, you'll have a couple of emblems like I do here. So I hate that little new thing. So I like to clear that off. And I actually found a new new emblem, a tea bag. I thought that was hilarious. So I'm using it. Uh, I'm using the first weapon, which gosh, I hate it. I hate it so much. But I mean, that's what you guys have. So I guess I gotta use it. So I'm using it. And uh, I don't, what do you? So I like blueberries. Like I don't know what to talk about right now. Blue. I don't really like blueberries. They have a really weird taste. They leave a really weird taste in your mouth. Like, I kind of want to try blueberry pie, but I feel like it's going to be really awkward. Anyway, also, once you unlock a a name plate tag plate tag thing, make it something awesome. Don't be like swag, even though I did that. Actually, that's kind of cool. Don't be like cool. That's lame. Stop it. So for you people who got this game like five months after it released because your parents don't buy you that many games and they surprised you with this and like here jimmy i know you always wanted it. yeah it's old mom but whatever i'm going to explain to you how to play uh basically uh follow your team uh not necessarily just make sure you have you trust your team don't go through that hole if you're on that map don't go through that hole that's the feeding hole uh basically what i do is you'll notice i take the long route and that is because when you when you're playing a shoot a war game the point, basically, how you get kills is you flank people. Uh, I just murdered that guy because I flanked him. He wasn't expecting me to come that way. He was expecting me to come through the feeding hole. And that guy, another thing you'll see through this game is that people freaking love to, uh, they don't let their kills run away. So you can pretty much hide. If somebody sees you, puts a couple shots on you, you can hide and camp out and they'll come to you and you can kill them. As you can see, I only got, I've already gotten three kills. That's because you got. You just have to be quick on the trigger. You have to be quick. You have to have good reflexes. So, if you want to be good at this game or decent, excuse me, then uh, you gotta have good reflexes. Find a sensitivity that that pleases you. Cause this this was actually going too slow for me. Uh, and you wanna like the thing about being decent at this game is you don't wanna end up face to face with somebody. When they're faster than you, when they're 10th prestige, because all they do is eat hot Cheetos and play this game. Uh, what you want to do is get them from behind. That way you have time to react. And they don't, basically. Uh, you want to, I kind of circle the edges of the map. Because if you kind of go through the center, you never know what you're going to expect. On the edges, you have time to react. Like, nobody really stays on the edges. So you'll see me do a lot of circles. And that's basically how I play the game. I do circles on the map. And, uh... That's how I handle things. And see, I'm going through here, and now there's... See, there was a guy that was coming. I couldn't see him. And because of that, I died, and I'm not decent anymore. God, it was suckish. And I threw a flashbang there. Uh, it's good to use your flashes, because so you know who's kind of around there. There was a little hit marker, so I know there was somebody around here. He is missing now, and I got flanked because I went down the middle. What you don't want to do is be, like, trapped between two people and then they rape you because being raped is not fun look on the internet god please don't look on the, look that up on the internet but um being raped is not fun make sure you're looking around like right there i knew my teammates had my back but they really didn't because most of them died if you go in a group you can kind of hold your own but if you're going by yourself you might get flanked that's not good watch out for predator missiles always keep an eye on your mini map because your mini map is a thing that will take you to many 
success. That made no sense, but all right. Um, make sure you look like for red dots. Basically, uh, the thing about it is uh, that brings me up to another idea. Red dots are basically people who are shooting. If you shoot and you don't have a silencer, you're a red dot and people can see you. I shot that because I just wanted to make a little diversion so I could get out of there. I don't know what's around that corner. But uh, yeah, if you shoot, you're going to be a red dot. People can find you. Look for red dots. You know where people are. Took that dude out. Made him look like a noob. And now I already upgraded my gun. So now I have a attachment to my gun after I get out of this. And this has only been one match. I'm pretty sure I didn't have... I hardly had any experience on this gun. So within like two, three, four matches, you'll be good. So uh, anyway... The thing you want to do is you want to try to get a silencer as fast as possible. That was not a fair spawn, so I'm not even going to talk about that. You want to get a silencer as fast as possible because you don't want to show up on the map. When you show up on the map, you are forced to move around. So, while you're playing this game, do not stand still ever. Well, you can stand still, but not after you killed somebody. After you killed somebody, move, get out of there, think quick. Don't run into somebody else's hands. Just move and get out of there. Like, I shot that guy. I'm not going to run to his ex because people are expecting me to be over there, or his skull and crossbones, as you might see them. And, uh, see, like that. The guy stayed in the spot. He kind of sealed his death, and he saw me, and I didn't have a good position on him. He didn't want to lose his kill. He came to me, and he died. See, that's not what you want to do. You don't want to chase down people, because they will be waiting for you, most likely. I mean, if you think you can, then do it. If you can't, don't. Uh... There's some graffiti on the wall. That's always cool. Go ahead and stop and read the graffiti. Just kidding. Don't do that. And I think this is where something retired happened. He had a ballistic vest. Make sure, never assume that you automatically have the kill. Make sure you see the points on the board. I got kind of careless there. And I actually would have gotten that kill. Hold on. What's about to happen? Uh, that was that was just me being horrible at aiming. Because I put my sensitivity up a little higher. But, um, I think I do the stupidest thing in this video. I don't know if it's this video or next video, but it's really stupid. Uh, make sure, like, let's just review here. Always move around. Put, oh, put the game on a sensitivity you're comfortable with, first of all. And here's the stupid thing, yeah. Uh, make sure your kill streaks. Don't worry about them. I, I, have, I don't use a single kill streak in this game. And I still get, uh, top kills. I'm using a gun that I'm not com comfortable with. I've never used this gun in my life yet. I still get a decent amount of kills. So you can do the same. I knifed for some reason. Don't ask me why I knifed. That was horrible. That was stupid. I looked like a fool in front of everybody. So I hope you all got a nice chuckle out of that. My friend picked up the kill. Um, I don't know him, but he is now my friend because he picked up the kill. I see that I have 11 kills, 12 deaths. We're not worrying about the deaths because we're just trying to be decent. We're just trying to be decent. We're not trying to be good here. All right? All right, kid, that uh, you told me not to mention your name. We're just trying to be decent. We're not being good. We're not going 24 and 0, even though I've done that on Modern Warfare 2, not this. But, you know, we're just doing doing decent. Uh, as you can see, most of my kills are going to be from behind or from the side. That's because map movement. Move them around the map. Try to not walk in the people's faces, basically. And there you go. I have 13 kills, 12 deaths. I went positive one, which, I mean, isn't that bad. It's kind of the reason we lost. But as long as you go positive, you're good. This is how you be decent on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.